Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the Laplace transform of the given function. The formula which we are going to use here is Laplace transform of t power n. This is n factorial by s power n plus 1. And this formula is applicable when n is integer 0 1 2 dot 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 suppose when n is not integer we use laplace transform of t power n as gamma of n plus 1 divided by s power n plus 1 this is applicable when n is not and integer. So we have two formula when n is 0, 1, 2, 3 dot 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 we can use n factorial by s power n plus 1 when n is not an integer gamma of n plus 1 by s power n plus 1. Now let's take our first problem Laplace transform of t. So when it is Laplace transform of t it is Laplace transform of t power 1. So the first formula is applicable where n is 1. So it is by formula 1 factorial by s power 1 plus 1. So which is 1 by s square. Coming to the second subdivision Laplace transform of t cube. So once again it is an integer so the value of n is 3 so by formula 3 factorial by s power 3 plus 1 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1 whole divided by s power 4 which is 6 by s power 4 now coming to the third subdivision we have Laplace transform of root t. So let's take the question here. So Laplace transform of root t. It means t per half and the value of n is half now. So we are going to use the second formula. When n is not an integer. It is gamma of n plus 1 by s power n plus 1. So by formula it is gamma of n plus 1 which is half plus 1 whole divided by s power half plus 1. Again we have a formula gamma of n plus 1 is n gamma n. So when we apply this the numerator becomes half gamma half by s power 3 by 2 and again gamma of half is nothing but by formula it is square root pi so the numerator becomes half root pi whole divided by s power 3 by 2 so by rearranging this we get root pi by 2 into s power 3 by 2. So the final answer is root pi by 2 into s power 3 by 2. Now coming to the fourth subdivision, we have t power 3 by 2. So let's take it here. We have Laplace transform of t power 3 by 2. Once again, the value of n is 3 by 2, which is not an integer. So we are going to use the second formula by formula. It is gamma of n plus 1. So 3 by 2 plus 1 divided by s power n plus 1. So 3 by 2 plus 1. So when we have gamma of n plus 1, it is n times gamma n. So this can be written as 3 by 2 gamma of 3 by 2. Then whole divided by s power 5 by 2 after taking LCM. Now 
the term 3 by 2 we are going to split into something plus 1. So it is gamma of 1 by 2 plus 1 because 1 by 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2. And we split like this to apply the formula once again. So now the value of n is half. So by applying the same formula we get 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 gamma half whole divided by s power 5 by 2 and gamma half is root pi. So totally it is 3 by 4 s power 5 by 2 and root pi in the numerator. Coming to the fifth subdivision we have L of 1 by root t. So let us take it here L of 1 by root t which is L of 1 by t power 1 by 2. When we take this to the numerator it is t power minus 1 by 2 and now n is minus 1 by 2. So if you apply the formula it is gamma of minus 1 by 2 plus 1 whole divided by s power minus 1 by 2 plus 1. So which is gamma of after taking LCM when we simplify this we get plus 1 by 2. So gamma of plus 1 by 2 by s power 1 by 2 and gamma of 1 by 2 is root pi divided by s power 1 by 2. Now coming to the next subdivision we have L of a plus b t plus c by root t. Let us take the question here. We are going to split this into three part L of a plus L of b t plus L of c by root t. Now constants can be taken out. So a into L of 1 and b into L of t and c into L of 1 by root t. Here L of 1 we have a direct formula that is L of 1 equal to 1 by s. Either we can apply this directly or if we want we can write this as t power 0. So that I can apply the t power n formula. So this is b into L of t power 1 and this is c into L of 1 by t power half. So if I apply the formula n is 0 means it is a first formula. So 0 factorial by s power n plus 1 so 0 plus 1. So we apply the formula and this is b into 1 factorial by s power 1 plus 1 plus c into L of this we take to the numerator so t power minus 1 by 2. Now this is a into 1 by s. This is b into 1 by s square and this is c into t power minus half. So when n is not an integer we have to apply the gamma of n plus 1. So minus half plus 1 divided by s power n plus 1. So s power minus half plus 1. And the first term is a by s. Second term is b by s square. Third term is c into gamma of after simplification of minus half plus 1 we get 1 by 2. And in the denominator s power 1 by 2. We have a formula gamma of half is root of pi. So we are going to apply this. So first term as it is a by s second term b by s square as it is and third term c into root pi by s power half. This is also power half and numerator also power half. So if we want we can combine it together. So first two terms as it is this is c into root of pi by s. Coming to the next subdivision we have L of 
2 plus t square plus 2t cube. Once again, we are going to split this into 3 part L of 2 plus L of t square plus L of 2t cube. Constants can be taken out. So 2 into L of 1 and this term as it is L of t square and 2 is taken out. So L of t cube. We are going to apply the formula L of 1 is 1 by S and L of t power n is n factorial by S power n plus 1. So here the value of n is 2, here the value of n is 3. So this is L of 1 which is 1 by S. So 2 into 1 by S and this one 2 factorial by S power 2 plus 1. And this is 2 into 3 factorial by s power 3 plus 1. Then further rearranging, this is 2 by s, 2 factorial is 2 and 2 by s cube, 3 factorial is 6, so 2 into 6, 12, so 12 by s power 4. So the last term, this is 2 into 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1. So this total product is 12. The last is subdivision L of root t minus 1 whole square by root t. This one we are going to expand the numerator using a minus b whole square formula which is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So the numerator becomes L of root t whole square is t minus 2 into root t then plus 1 whole divided by root t. Now I am going to divide individually that is t by root t minus 2 root t by root t and plus 1 by root t. For the simplification of this, this is power 1 and this is power half. When we subtract, this become t power half. And we can cancel this. It is only minus 2. And this is t power half. When we take to the numerator, t power minus half. And I am going to split this into 3 parts. So L of t power half minus L of 2 plus L of t power minus half. Applying the formula L of t power n. Here it is not an integer. So gamma of n plus 1 by s power n plus 1. So coming to this, it is gamma of half plus 1 by s power half plus 1. And this one can be written as 2 into L of 1 and L of 1 is 1 by S. And the last one, it is gamma of minus half plus 1 by S power minus half plus 1. Now totally, here we are, we are going to apply the formula gamma of n plus 1 can be written as n gamma n. So the first one, the value of n is half. When we apply this, it is half gamma half by s power 3 by 2. And this is minus 2 by s. And here, on simplification of this, we get gamma of half by s power half. Now, once again, gamma of half is square root of pi. So when we apply this, we get half square root of pi by s power 3 by 2 minus 2 by s plus square root of pi by s power half. So further we can rewrite this as root pi by 2 s power 3 by 2 minus 2 by s plus root pi by s power half. 
So if we want, we can take further LCM. LCM is 2 into S power 3 by 2. So this we have to multiply into 2 S power half, both numerator and denominator. And this we have to multiply into 2 S so that we get a common denominator. So we can group the numerators. So the common denominator becomes 2 S power 3 by 2. So here it is root pi. Here it is minus 4 and s power half is root s and here it is plus 2 root pi into s and if there is a like term we can take common so we can take root pi common from the first and third so it is 1 plus 2 s and the middle term is written as it is then whole divided by s into 2 into s power 3 by 2.